Downtown Los Angeles marked its hottest day of the year during this week's dangerous heat wave in Southern California. As forecasters at the National Weather Service have now extended excessive heat warnings through Monday. This week's weather in Southern California is a whole other level of magnitude of extreme heat. And if people thought it wasn't maybe such a big deal before, now it's really hitting home. Now it's really hurting. People are really understanding how painful this can be, how it limits your activity. How In partnership with the city of Los Angeles, Professor Esther Margulies works with the University of Southern California's Urban Trees Initiative, aiming to advance climate resilient urban forestry practices. What we've been focused on is, is not necessarily the extra, the temperature getting higher and higher, but the length of time of extreme heat getting longer and longer. I, I don't know what people without air conditioning are doing uh, during this heat wave. That's a very concerning health issue for vulnerable populations, young people, old people, people with respiratory diseases or other problems. And it's part of a wider global trend coming on the heels of 2023, which marked the hottest year in recorded history, paving the way for another year of record high temperatures. This was the, uh, the warmest August and the warmest summer on record globally. And, and this is uh, happening in a moment where, as we were discussing, El, El Nino is no longer the main driver. Uh, we still have some warmth in the Pacific, but we still have uh, very warm motion elsewhere. So it's no longer uh, El Nino. And of the many drivers of climate uh, variability, I think one of the, the one we need to look into uh, in this case as a main responsible is really the um, anthropogenic climate change and the increase in greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. Extreme heat is already the top cause of weather-related deaths in the United States and other extreme weather events like drought, wildfires, hurricanes and floods are only expected to become more frequent and more devastating without a concerted global effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.